Shepard, what brings you all the way out here? I'd ask the same. Is something the matter out here? We are part of the joint border guard between Highland and Rollins. But we spotted a village that's not on the map. We were about to go investigate. Hmm. Would it be alright if we handled the investigation instead? Good call. If it turns out those two are actually back... I'm not sure I take your meaning. There's a high chance you might encounter danger there that only the Shepard could handle. But... Please. I'm worried for everyone. Understood. Act on instinct way too much. Oh? Let's get started. The undead pack some powerful arts, bro. They can also warp, so keep an eye on them. Two of them. Looking for it. Fine. Go for it. Oh, oh, they're both right here. In this village. So they are the Cardinal Sisters. We can't beat them if we can't stand against petrification.
opponent! Phew. Good work! You two. Shepard, what was that? Who are these women? They collapsed. Please, take care of them. Will do. Most likely they fell victim to the sleeping sickness. Sickness? We consulted older records pertaining to this area. It turns out there was a village here called Fortin that was wiped out 20 years ago. The records indicate that everyone in the village caught an illness that made them lethargic and constantly sleepy. As if they were trapped by the illusions men call dreams. Saray, do you think? <sighs> just such a pity. Was it fate that the Cardinal and her sisters all had to choose between death and a life that would turn them into Hellions? Well... There is such a thing as destiny in this world. But I don't want to believe that everything that happens is predetermined. I've never really put much stock in destiny. Everyone lives on the razor's edge between light and darkness. You never know which way they'll fall. It just so happened that all three sisters fell on the side of darkness and became Hellions. That's all. Can you choose which side you fall on? Um, yeah. It's your own life, after all. Saray. Yeah. Rose has the right idea. Explorer poet named Maven? What is going on? I don't know, but now I'm curious. Curious times a hundred. I've got an imitator. Being able to fuse equipment at the shop is really convenient to help prep for battle. Yes. It's amazing how even among humans, there are those who can extract the full potential of certain equipment like the Divine Artifact. Plus, it looks like we can fuse unneeded equipment together to breathe new use into them. I have some experience with this sort of thing as well, although it may take time to get used to it again. Wow! Will I be able to do it someday? For those that don't possess the required innate qualities, I've heard that it feels like their nerve cells are getting sliced from the back of their heads. Oh.
And you are? I am the Seraph Aksha. May I ask what has brought you to this distant realm, Shepard? My name is Saray. Um... We heard about a poet or something named Maven. Do you know anything about that? Ah, if it is the poet Maven you seek. She rests here. She passed away? Yes, over 300 years ago. As her old friend, I care for her grave. 300 years? He didn't mention that part. It happens sometimes with long-lived Seraphim. Their sense of time gets out of sync with the real world. For the man who told us about her, 300 years ago probably felt like no more than two or three. Oh, yeah, I've gotten that. Set my pudding down once and only remembered it a hundred years later. Really? Doubtful. Was there something you had wanted from her? We have an acquaintance named Maven who's an explorer. We thought maybe she was family, but... Looks like the name was just a coincidence. It is no coincidence. Your explorer friend is the storyteller of time, is he not? How did you know that? This Maven was also a storyteller. Those in the clan of storytellers have no names of their own. The name Maven is passed down through the generations. So the poet Maven was his ancestor from centuries ago. Doesn't Maven mean caregiver in the old tongue? Those born into that name and that oath must accept their fate to be observers of the world. But I wonder, why is that their fate? Wasn't it like the first one did some damn fool thing and wound up forced to take the oath as punishment or something? That I could not say. Only the storytellers themselves might know for sure. Where is the current Maven? We were there when he... I see. I watch the world with measured gaze as moments turn to history. The world a lute that he play and history its melody. Venture on, venture on. Let your actions turn the world. And I shall watch, and I shall watch, until the final star winks out. If solitude must be my fate, then people are my heart, my heart. I know your sins and shrieks and joys, for people are my heart, my heart. Is that by the poet Maven? The words are filled with love for people. Yes, it was her dream, but surely one shared by her entire clan. It is solitude itself that leads storytellers to cherish the world and its people. I'm sure the maven you knew was happy to have you by his side in his final hour. I hope so. We need to work hard to live up to the hopes that maven placed in us. So old man Maven really was dealt a tricky hand in life. Yeah. He was burdened with a special fate. Even so, he never had a problem lending a helping hand to the Sparrow Feathers. And he taught me what it is to be an explorer. He traveled all over the world. Gently guiding us to the right path. Yep. That's the Maven I know. No matter his circumstances, no matter his fate... Maven was just Maven, through and through. Yep. Like how Saray is just Saray. And how Rose is just Rose. Stop copying me. You copied me first.
We restored the village's blessing, but Slenge is dying. It's gotta be due to the toxins produced from processing the vermilion ore. Most likely. And he must have known that from the start. He probably wanted this kind of punishment. Because he committed a crime, huh? If that's all true, then there's no need for the scattered bones to get involved. This must be the answer he arrived at. It may sound harsh, but there isn't anything more we can do about this situation. Still, it gets me royally ticked off at the church. What seraph would tolerate their worship? If that Malfour guy came up with all this, I gotta hand it to him. Pretty good for someone who acts like a quirky bit part in a play. But he wasn't emitting any malevolence at all. What sort of person is he exactly? It's got me wondering too. I think I'll have the scattered bones look into him. I never thought I'd see so many Hellions. Kinda makes me feel guilty for not being able to see them before. You should. Ignorance is a crime, you know. So, don't you think the quality of equipment is crucial in surviving tough battles? They also say that true masters don't choose their weapons. But since we're no masters, I thought it might be better if we build relationships with the shop owners and order from them. Yeah, well, they say the relationship only lasts as long as the money does. Yeah, I agree. So what I'm saying is, it's important to build the relationship with the shopkeeper rather than just haggling to get the price down. I can't even tell if you guys are arguing or not.